Hi! In this video, we will show you the incoming goods quality control functionality of MRP Easy. With the quality control functionality, goods incoming to stock can be automatically put on hold for inspection once they arrive. This can be set up for both procured and manufactured goods. After the inspection results are saved, the approved items will become available in stock. The rejected items can be reworked or repaired with a service order or written off. To enable quality control for a stock item, open the item's details view and tick the quality control checkbox. Then key in the default on hold period. Once these items have arrived in stock through having received a purchase order or finished a manufacturing order, they are put on hold for inspection. To see the list of inspections, go to the Procurement Inspections page. The goods that must be inspected are in the inspections list with the status New. To record the result of an inspection, open the inspection view and enter the approved quantity. Additionally, you can attach files. You can write down reasons for rejections. If your items have serial numbers, you can specify the rejection reason for each serial number separately. Finish the inspection by pressing the Approve Reject button. The rejected items will be separated from the approved items. These will not be available in stock. Now, you can create a PDF with inspection results. All parts that did not pass the inspection will be marked as rejected. These cannot be used in manufacturing or sold. You can find all rejected lots in the inspections list view. The rejected items can either be reworked or written off. To repair rejected items, open the Stock Lot Details page and click Create Service Order. If you know the required materials and operations up front, you can enter them right away. The service order is a special type of manufacturing order and is scheduled in the production schedule the same way a manufacturing order is. When you open it, you can add new required materials in the Materials section. Likewise, in the Operations section, you can add new required operations. If the rejected items cannot be reworked, then they can be written off. To write off rejected items, go to Stock Write-Offs and create a new write-off. When filling in the write-off, the rejected lots are shown with the status Rejected. Next to it, you can type in the quantity that you wish to write off. There are two widgets in the dashboard that refer to inspections. The Awaiting Inspections shows the number of inspections in the queue. Clicking on it will open up the list. The second widget shows the rejection rate for the current month. Clicking on it opens the inspections list with inspections performed since the beginning of the month. By filtering the list, we can produce various reports. For example, Rejection Rate by Product. or by vendor from whom the goods were received, or by your employee to whom the manufacturing order was assigned. The quality control functionality can be enabled in the section Settings, System Settings, Professional Functions. In this video, we described how quality control functionality works. To learn more about MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.